The MP153 shotgun melts everything. It only costs 30k and is my favorite gun to use for questing or just killing PMCs. You can build a super budget variation of the gun, but it's so cheap that you might as well just slap on the Tromix Monster Claw Muzzle Brick, the laser for hip firing, and attach the 8 shell magazine to it. More important than the gun build is the ammo. There is no best ammo for this gun. It really just depends on your playstyle, situation, or even how you want to kill something. And in this video, I'll showcase the most used ammo. Magnum Buck, Flechette, Piranha, and AP20 Slugs. Magnum Buck. Each shell has a possible 400 damage. That's actually insane. You can buy it early from Jaeger, craft in level 1 workshop, or find it on scavs quite often. With uh, this ammo, I like to aim for heads and legs, since it basically has no armor penetration. Getting up close and personal seems to be the way with this shell, but sometimes you can also get a lucky headshot from like 40 plus meters away. You will have to get used to the recoil bounce and be careful of the slow reload time. This clip is a good example of that. Forgot to fully reload earlier, so I uh, had to use some other dude's gun. But now let's get into it. Here's a raid. I heard gunshots towards the big hill southwest of dorms and just need PMC kills. And just like that, we destroyed the squad. It wasn't the cleanest fight, but we got it done. We didn't kill every PMC on first contact, but we for sure did a lot of damage to their limbs, probably blacked them out, and were eventually able to finish them off. This clip was a great example of when you don't get lucky. The random RNG headshot or easy leg mini kill from like two pumps. Here are the rest of the kills from this raid. I uh, actually ran out of ammo, probably like 60 shells actually ran out and so I had to use one of the guns we picked up but after this I'll introduce Flechette 
and Piranha Shells, my favorite. Yeah, with Magnum Buck, you'll mostly see kills from limbs or headshots. Flechette and Piranha Shells, my favorite this wipe. You can buy a Flechette from Jaeger level 3 for cheap, whereas Piranha is craftable with the level 2 workbench. And sells for, I believe right now, near 2000 a shell on the flea. Yeah, way too expensive. Likely not worth it unless you're rich. Um, But yeah, these two shells are the best at melting armor durability. 2-0, very consistent. For reference, they will both kill through a Zabralo tier 6 armor in about 5 shots. Every time. For you shotgun enjoyers, here is some music and a bunch of PMC kills. A flechette on customs with the MP153. Two PMCs. I'll pretend to be part of their squad. Yeah. Hey, what'd you get, man? <laughs> I got him. <laughs> hey there, bro. Barrett extract, bro. Go, just go. I'm done. I'm done. <sighs> Next up, Piranha. The shell shoots two more pellets than Flechette, but has a little less armor pen, meaning it's slightly better for CQC, where you have a higher chance of hitting all 10 pellets but a slightly lower chance to cause light and heavy bleeds as well. In this clip, I'll be in a tree, testing the ratting capabilities of the MP153 and Piranha Shells. Oh, here comes test subject number one. Three shots with Piranha, not bad. He was wearing a uh, tier 3 armor though. Those scavs. Mm, don't think so. I don't think scavs run like that.
Yeah, he either player scabs or PMCs. I mean, they're searching around like they know somebody's here. It might be the last dude's friend. Or friends. Well, two more test subjects. Yeah, they're being cautious. No one ever looks in the tree. <laughs> they're checking every bush. Alright. Two tab on a one tap. Yeah, Piranha's good. Last up, AP20 Slugs. If the enemy is not wearing tier 5 or 6 armor, we'll almost always kill them within the first 3 slugs. Anything past tier 4 armor and you're gonna have a lot of trouble. You'll probably have to land a headshot or mag dump them to zero out their armor. The only bad part about this shell is that you have to aim since there's no spread like, you know, Buckshot has. Oh, and you can snipe with it too. This round is basically best used early and mid wipe when most players are still wearing tier 4 or 3. Anyways, here's what happened when I brought AP20 slugs to dorms. Mm, door is already open. Good chance there's already somebody here. Can't hear anything because of the rain though. Footsteps. Scav. Oh. This guy just ran in. Yeah, he's hurt. Do, 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 do. Mm. All right. That worked out somehow. Dude's healing? No way. He doesn't know I'm here. <laughs> His body went flying. Uh, scav to my left. Teammates next to him, I think. Fuck okay. it. Yeah, whatever. Swing it. Nice. I keep hearing someone creeping. First floor. Alright, I panicked there. Whew. Guess their teammate was trying to rat me out. Alright. Is the MP153 good? Basically, yeah. Just use any red buckshot you want. Aim for the legs or the face, get lucky. And with Flechette and Piranha, just spray and pray, melt their armor, shred everybody. Or even AP20 slugs if everyone's still wearing tier 4 armor or lower. But the most efficient way to use this gun is to definitely get close and personal. You can try AP20 slug sniping, you know, for the memes, but you'll be better off with an AR or DMR in most cases. So, let me know what your favorite way to use this gun is. Thanks everyone.